Welcome back students. Today in this session we are going to study chapter number 9 areas of parallelograms and triangles. So in the earlier lesson we have studied about parallelograms and triangles their properties and also about the congruence of triangles. So in this chapter we are going to learn some of the theorems related to the areas of parallelograms and triangles. So our first topic will be so the first topic is figures on the same base and between the same barrels so when when do two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same barrels so two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same barrels if they have a common base that is side and the vertices or the vertex opposite to the common base of each figure lie on a line parallel to the base for example let me draw two parallel lines and let me construct a triangle a triangle ABC between these two parallel lines so with the same base that is with the same base AB let me construct another triangle or another figure maybe quadrilateral let me draw a triangle first let me draw a triangle a b and d so these two triangles a b c and a b d are two figures with same base a b and between these two parallel lines so two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have a common base and if they lie between the two parallel lines. Next, let us study theorem 9.1, which is based on the topic uh, which we have just studied. That is on there is two figures lying on the same base and between the same parallel. So the theorem 9.1 says parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area and also let us try to prove this theorem that is uh, parallelograms on the same base and on the same and between the same pairs are equal in area so given so in given a b c d a b c d and e f c d are two parallel grounds which lie on the same base d c and between the same parallel d c and a f so we are going to prove these two parallel grounds are equal in area that is area of parallel gram a b c d is equal to area of parallel gram e f c d now let us prove this theorem so let us consider triangle so in triangle ADE there is ADE and triangle BCF BCF so in these two triangles angle DAE DAE BAE there is this angle is equal to angle C B F C B F this angle. These two angles are equals being the corresponding angle. These are corresponding angle. Corresponding angles between the two parallel lines, that is parallel line A D and uh, B C A D and B C and the transversal A F. Also, angle AED similarly, angle AED is equal to angle BFC. That is, angle AED AED is equal to angle BFC. BFC being the same region, these two angles are corresponding angles. Since these two angles are equal, this angle is equal to this 
angle that is the uh, applying angles and property of a triangle this two angles there is angle ABE and angle BCF are equivalent measures so therefore angle AED equal to angle sorry angle ABE is equal to angle BCF B E F because of the angle some property of a triangle now now the side AD is equal to BC being the opposite angles of the parallelogram ABCD side AD is equal to side BC that is opposite angles of a opposite sorry opposite sides of the parallelogram opposite sides of the parallelogram a b c d a b c d therefore triangle a d e is congruent to triangle b c f by a s a congruence rule triangle a d e is congruent to triangle b c f by as a as a that is angle side angle these two angles are equal the corresponding two angles are equal and the included side is equivalent length so these two triangles are congruent to each other now since this since these two triangles are congruent to each other area of triangle a d e is equal to area of triangle b c f now area of parallelogram a b c d is equal to area of triangle a d e plus area of quadrilateral E D C B. This is equal to area of triangle B C F. Why? Because area of triangle A D is equal to area of triangle B C F plus area of quadrilateral E D C B, which is equal to if you closely look at the figure area of triangle. BCF plus area of triangle EDCB is equal to area of parallelogram EFEFCD. So, so area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of parallelogram EF CD. Hence, proof. Hence, proof. So the theorem 9.1 says parallelograms on the same base and between the same pairs are equal in area. Next is theorem 9.2. The theorem 9.2 says that two triangles on the same base or equal bases and between the same pairs are equal in area. Let us try to understand this theorem. So let me first construct two parallel lines. Let us suppose this line L M N are parallel to each other and two triangles, triangle A, B, C, A, B, C and A, B, D are two triangles with the same base AB and between the two parallel lines L and M. So the theorem says area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle 
A, B, D. We all know that the area of a triangle is equal to half base, half base into height or altitude. So the area of triangle ABC will be half base, there is AB into half uh, height. Let us suppose H be the height of the or altitude of the, this triangle ABC. Same as here, area of triangle ABD will be half base, there is basis AB into height. Here, AB, AB has uh, AB is equal to AB, there is they have the same base, and what about this height? This height will also be equal, why? Because they lie between the same parallel line, they will have the same equal altitude. So, area of triangle ABC will be equal to area of triangle ABD. Next is theorem 9.3. 9.3 and 9.3 says two triangles having the same base or equal bases and areas lie between the same parallel. This is the converse of theorem 9.2 and it says two triangles having same base. There is two triangles AB. There is suppose this two triangles ABC and ABD. ABD have the same base AB. And their areas are equal. There is these two triangles. The area of these two triangles are equal. Then they will lie between the same parallel line. Next, an important topic in this chapter is when a triangle and a parallelogram with same base lie between the same parallel lines. Then, then the area of the triangle will be equal to half of the area of the parallelogram. For example, in these two parallel lines, we have triangle ABC and parallelogram AB EF. Then, area of triangle ABC is equal to half of area of parallelogram a b e f a b e f next let us try to solve the questions from exercise so starting from exercise 9.1 question number one which of the following figures lie on the same base and between the same parallels in such a case try the common base and the two parallels so looking at the figure one Figure 1, we can say that this figure, in this figure, triangle, triangle BDC and the quadrilateral ABCD lie on the same base DC and between the two parallel lines AB and DC. So, figure 1, figure 1 lies on the same base and between the same parallel AB and DC. What about figure 2? In figure 2, we can easily say that Although the two two figures have the same base, they doesn't lie on this between the same parallel lines. In Figure three, we can say that the triangle QTR and the quadrilateral PQRS lie on the same base QR and between the same parallel PS and QR. In Figure four, we can clearly see, uh, see that. The two figures doesn't have a common base. In figure 5, we can say that they have the two figures A, B, C, D and A, B, Q, D lie on the same base A, D and between the same parallels A, D and B, Q. And in figure 6, we can easily see that they doesn't share a common base and common base so figure one three and five uh, in in this figure one three and five the given two figures lie on the same base and between the same parallels next let us solve questions from exercise 9.2 so i pick up question number four 
So in question number four, you are given a parallelogram A, B, C, D, in which B is a point in the interior of the parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we are to prove area of triangle A, B, B, A, B, B is plus area of triangle B, C, D is equal to half of the area of the parallelogram A, B, C, D. And in Roman number two, we are to prove area of triangle APD plus area of triangle PBC is equal to area of triangle APB plus area of triangle BCD. So to prove Roman number one, we are going to construct a line parallel to AB. So we construct the line LM parallel to AB. So if you closely observe the figure, you will notice that uh, triangle APB and the quadrilateral ABML lies between the same parallel line AB and LM and with the same base AB. So triangle APB and quadrilateral AB ML lies between the parallel lines lies between the parallel lines AB and LM with same base AB therefore area of triangle APB is equal to half of area of the quadrilateral and that is parallelogram A B M L. Similarly if you observe triangle B C D and the parallelogram L M C D it is observed that these two figures lies between the same parallel line and with the same base C D. So similarly, area of triangle triangle PCD PCD is equal to half of area of the quadrilateral LM CD. Similarly, with the same property. So if, if we add these two, it, Two, then we will get area of triangle ABB plus area of triangle BCD equal to half of half of the area of AB ML plus half of area of the quadrilateral LM CD. This is equal to half. I will take out half is common. Then this will be area of triangle AB ML plus area of triangle LM CD. Now, if you add this two, this is nothing than the quadrilateral AB CD. From the figure, you can clearly see that if we add this two, we will get parallelogram AB CD. So this will be half of the parallelogram AB CD. Half of the parallelogram ABCD. So the first one that is uh, in Roman number one, we have root D Roman number one. So hence root. Now let us prove the second part that is area of triangle APD plus area of triangle PBC equal to area of triangle APB plus area of triangle BCD. We'll follow the similar method uh, which we have done in the first part. So let us first construct a parallel line parallel to parallel to the side AD. This will be N O 
let us name this pair line N O. So if you again observe uh, the figure carefully, you will see there the triangle A P D and the quadrilateral A O N D lies on the lies between the same pair line and with the same base A D. So triangle A P D and the quadrilateral A O N D are with the same base that is they have the same base A D and lies between the same pair line and lies between the pair lines pair lines O N and A D. So therefore area of triangle A P D will be equal to half of the quadrilateral half of the area of the quadrilateral a o and d similarly similarly area of triangle pbc 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 will be half of the area of the quadrilateral b c n o so again if we add these two we will get area of triangle a p d plus area of triangle p b c equal to half of the area of the quadrilateral a o n d plus half of area of the quadrilateral b c and o same as same as the earlier we will take half as common and we will add this to area so if we combine these two area we will get the parallelogram a b c d so this will be half of the area of the parallelogram a b c d So if we combine this with the with the earlier earlier equation that we have proved on the first part, if we combine these two, we will get area of triangle A P D plus area of the triangle P B C equal to this part is equal to this part. So this part will be equal to this part so area of triangle APD plus area of triangle PBC will be equal to area of triangle APB plus area of the triangle PCD. Hence, proof. Next. Exercise 9.3, question number 6. So in question number 6, it is given that a quadrilateral ABC is given in which AC and BD are diagonals intersecting at O such that OB equal to OD and also it is given that AB is equal to CD and we are to prove A of triangle B O C is equal to area of triangle A O B and area of triangle D C B D C B is equal to area of triangle A C B and in the third part we are to prove D A is parallel to C B and the, the quadrilateral A B C D is a parallelogram. Now let us prove the first part that is area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle AOB. For that we are going to construct a perpendicular from the vertex D 
to the diagonal KC and also the perpendicular from the vertex B to the diagonal AC DM and let me name as DM. So in these two triangles, there is in triangle D O N M triangle B O M measurement angle D O N is equal to measurement angle B O M. They are vertically opposite angles. And angle D N O is equal to measurement angle B M O being the being their measure equal to 90 degree. Then the side D O there is D O O D or O D is equal to O B it is given this being vertically opposite angles and this being 90 degree and this is given so by AAS congruence theorem this two triangle triangle D O N is congruent to triangle B O M by AAS congruence theorem similarly in triangle DCN DCN and triangle B A M measurement angle D N C is equal to measurement angle B M A it's being 90 degree and the side DC is equal to B A that is this being the hypotenuse of the triangle and this right triangle this two right triangle and also it is given that a b equal to c d so this is given information and also the side d n is equal to b m this is because the two triangles we have earlier proved that the two triangles d o n and b o m d o n and b o b o m are congruent to each other so this side d n is equal to the side b m side b m since triangle d o n is congruent to triangle b o Therefore, by RHS uh, congruence axiom, these two triangle, triangle DCN is congruent to triangle BAM. Now, since these two triangles are congruent to each other, the area of these two triangles are equal to each other. So, now area of triangle D O N is equal to area of triangle B O M and also these two triangles are congruent to each other the area of these two triangles are also equal to each other so area of triangle D C N is equal to area of triangle B A M now if we add these two we will get area of triangle D O N let me show you the figure so area of triangle D O N plus area of triangle D C N is equal to this triangle there is triangle D O C so if we add these two equation we will get area of triangle D O C 
is equal to area of triangle A O B. If we add these two, we will get area of triangle A O B. So this is the first part. So, so we have proved the first part that is area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle AOB. Now let us come to the second part that is uh, area of triangle BCB is equal to area of triangle ACB. So second part. Let us try to prove the second part. So in the first part we have proved that area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle AOB. Now if we add area of triangle D, uh, area of triangle DOC plus area of triangle BOC BOC plus area of triangle BOC means if we add area of triangle BOC to both sides of this equation AOB plus area of triangle BOC so if we add the area of triangle BOC to both the sides we will get if we closely observe with the figure area of triangle DOC plus area of triangle BOC BOC there is we will get area of triangle area of triangle DCB DCB and also if we add area of triangle AOB plus BOC we will get area of triangle ACB AC so the second part, uh, uh, so we have proved, we have so proved the second part. Now let us come to the third part that is, uh, we have to prove DA is parallel to CB or ABCD is a parallel one. Now if you closely look at the figure, again observe the figure carefully, you will see that the two triangles, triangle DCB, DCB and triangle ACB. ACB lies on the same base BC and they are between the same parallel BC and AD. So we have earlier proved that these two triangles are equal in area and if we combine these two then we will get BC is parallel to AD. So triangle DCB and triangle ACB lies on the same uh, base BC and they are equal in area and also they lie between the same line between the same they lie between the same line that is BC and AD that is the two triangles lie between the same line AC and BC and AD. So we can say that the two, uh, the two lines AC and BC and AD are parallel to each other. So therefore, BC is parallel to AD. That is, if we write according to the equations, that is the line DA is parallel to CB. Or in other words, we can say that AB, CD is a parallel one. Next exercise 9.3, question number 10. So in question number 10, you are given a trapezium ABCD given given a trapezium 
A, B, C, D in which diagonals A, C and B, D intersect each other at O. Intersect each other at O. And also it is given that the side A, B is parallel to the sign CD. Now to prove, we are going to prove area of triangle AOD is equal to area of triangle BOC. BOC. Proof. Observe the figure and you will know that the two triangles, triangle A, D, B and triangle A, B, C lies between the same, between the same parallel lines, parallel lines. A, B and C, D with the same base with the same base A, B so these two triangles are equivalent area so therefore area of triangle A, B, D is equal to area of the triangle a, B, C. That is, these two triangles are equal in area. Now, if we subtract area of triangle A, O, B from both the sides, that is, area of triangle A, B, D minus area of triangle A, O, B equal to area of triangle A, B, C minus area of triangle AOD. That is we subtract area of triangle AOB AOB from both sides of this equation. So looking at the figure we will see that area of triangle ABD minus AOB gives us the triangle AOD. So this will be area of triangle AOD equal to and on the right hand side, if we look at the figure, area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle AOB gives us area of triangle BOC. BOC. Hence, 